Yes, Lisa, how are you? With Dylan's. This is an American Irish restaurant with an Indianness connected to it. It's hard for me to believe that Dylan's has lasted this long. Okay, and you had eight people leave on you, yes? We kind of lurch between catastrophe and disaster. My wife, my family, we started this restaurant to make a new life, but uh, the restaurant is not doing that well. Dylan's, good evening, how can I help you? I hired Martin to take care of this business. I had an objective. The idea was to capture the best of all worlds. Who are we choosing from? We have beef buna. Which menu? Lamb chop, shepherd's pie. It's the wave of the future. Hamburgers. Indian diners will be everywhere. <laughs> I think people are a bit confused as to, like, what kind of restaurant this is. I don't know what each manager does specifically. I'm the general manager. I'm the operations manager. And I'm a floor manager here. Nobody really knew Khan was a manager. He doesn't do anything yet. I don't like to work here because everything is so messed up. I think in an ideal world, Martin would be an ongoing character in a reality TV series. Martin. My responsibilities include uh, an awful lot of things. I make sure that everything runs. If something's broken, I fix it. I make sure that there's toilet paper to wipe your butt with. Frequently, I will have to cook something because the cooks who make the Indian food don't know how to make American food. If we get customers in here, I will walk up to tables, serve them their food, and they'll be swatting flies away. It is disgusting. The kitchen's not clean. The problem has been eradicated now. I think it has. There's a the fly. For the last six months, we are losing like twenty to thirty thousand dollars a month. I cannot continue losing money like this. I don't want to continue with this nightmare. I will do anything and everything what Gordon Ramsay asked me to do to make this place as successful. Ironically, Gordon's successful New York restaurant is only two blocks away from this kitchen nightmare. Dylan's with a canapé all taped out and what the fuck is that sign there? It's like a scoreboard. Morning. Hello. Gordon Ramsay. Martin, general manager. This is Dylan's. Welcome. Dylan's Indian restaurant. Indian restaurant, yes. Doesn't Indian sound city. like an Indian, does it? Dylan's. No. No. Dylan's, no. When I first met Gordon, I assumed to be a fairly intimidating guy, and that's exactly what he was. Mohammed Islam, the owner of the place. Mohammed, how are you? Fine, thank you. Yeah. Hello. Jenna. Jenna, nice to see you. Gordon definitely has a presence about him. I don't know whether or not I should be terrified or just relax and go with everything. This is Andrew, Thanks for operation Andrew. manager. General manager, operation manager. Yes. yes. Uh, one rocky table. Trust you to pick the worst table in the house. Let's sit at this table, shall we? Yes. Yeah? OK, good. Flies everywhere. Uh, Martin. Yes. Um, we're such a huge menu. Mm. Uh, am I right in thinking there's two kitchens? There's two different chefs in one kitchen. They work alongside each other. British, Italian, buffalo. Yes. The only thing that's not on here is Chinese. Are you normally this busy for lunch? Uh, actually, it's a little busy today. <laughs> we don't have people coming in because they see an empty restaurant. Sometimes I don't get a table at all. From the main menu, assorted vegetarian appetizers. And then for main course, the lamb biryani and beef buna. From the American menu, I'll go for the salmon nissoise. Please, thank you. You're welcome. God, I'm lonely. I need the appetizers first. Are you OK? I'm quite excited to see the reaction. We've got, like, great service, great food, so it's a win-win situation. The walls are ghastly. Looks like it's been plastered with hospital linen. That's where the customers go after they come out of this restaurant. Of course there's no fucking salmon. Why would there be fucking salmon? When Gordon Ramsay ordered his lunch, he must have looked into a fucking crystal ball because he ordered something that we didn't have. Let me just make sure that I can order something that they don't have. That was great. Great. Frozen fucking fish or a great chef. Right. There's two fritters. Those ones both are vegetable. They're both vegetable? Yes. May the Lord above not poison me. Amen. Oh, In terms of beauty, it's not exactly an Indian classic, is it? 
It looks like it's a dehydrated turd. There's meat in there. Um, that one's got meat in there. It's not vegetarian. It tastes like lamb. If he were a vegetarian, I would expect a lawsuit. It's going to be fun to ask them about. You guys are killing me right now. The sorted vegetarian appetizer plate has to be vegetarian. Vegetarian? He okay. just had a meat one. <laughs> Lock on wood, the worst is over, all right? OK. The beef puna. Beef puna. And the lamb biryani. Lamb biryani. And she's bringing a plate for you. Thanks, darling. Would you, uh, would you mind getting me a clean one, please? Sorry. What the fuck is that? It always worries me when they stick tomato roses on top of the food and when the tomato is rotten. Of beef. Does that look like a piece of beef to you, my darling? It's dry. It looks like pork. And if that's beef, then hey, I was born in Bangladesh. Gomez? Yeah. He says to try this. It's Wait. pork. Wait. Pretty sure it's pork. Is it beef? Yeah. It is lamb. Pork. No. Yeah. It was lamb. <laughs> so now it was lamb. Gordon didn't seem to enjoy much of anything, and that's how it usually goes with customers. Where do you start on this one? The potatoes are sick, Martin. They look like they were cooked at least a week ago. Well, that's good. And frozen salmon, too. And you, that's good. You have come to the rescue once again. One of the greatest chefs in the world wants something to eat, and I had to make it. Thank you. So this is from the American kitchen. Looks like a doorman. Another fly. Huh? Is this normal? Um, yes, it is. Who made this? Um, I did. So you're the operations manager. You're yes. The chef as well. Yes. We haven't got any other chefs in the back that can cook this food. They don't know how to cook any Western-style food. Can you do me a favor. Yes. Either. Not with pleasure. Pretty much everything that could go wrong went horribly and catastrophically wrong. Oh, God. Kellis Juice. Yeah. Please to you. Gordon, tell him in a really nice way. Yeah. Your food is shit. Last time your food was shit, person to call anything. Food was bland. Old fashioned. I've eaten it. I don't feel too good. What do you know about the What do you know about the lamb? What he says that uh, that lamb is probably the old lamb. You serve me old lamb? I am embarrassed to see the situation. Oh, that's not a mistake, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. They get a little nervous as if they made a mistake in there. Made a mistake? Maybe the standard cotton has a very high compared to mine. I didn't expect it's going to go that bad. After Gordon's lunchtime fiasco, he now tries to understand how this restaurant is managed. No, I'm not worthy of sparkling water. I have to have tap water here. Are we going to reset this table? Eeny, meeny, mine and mo. Catch your manager by the toe. You are what? Floor. You're the floor manager. Floor manager. Holy mackerel. When I came to work, I was nervous, but at the same time, I was happy because I had a chance to work with Chef Ramsey. That's why you are here. <laughs> so you can fix the place. You think it's that funny and easy to do? Everybody here hates Khan. And I can't fire the guy because he's protected by Muhammad. Now, we have a floor manager, operation manager, and general manager. I was resting, just thinking of various things I've got to sort out. And one of the waitresses was rubbing my hair. It was a natural thing. How many managers does this place need? I found a new manager. We now have a floor manager. And amongst the operation manager, that's managed by the general manager. Three fucking managers, and they're all shit. Dear, oh dear. With a better understanding of the staff structure, it's time for Gordon to see the staff in action at a dinner service. Welcome. Nice to see you all. Are you used to looking over the menu? Well, we were just sort of debating yeah. whether we wanted something on the American side yeah. or on the Indian side. The Indian's very good. Where are we choosing from? Which menu? It's also becoming clear to Gordon that the multiple styles of menu is not a positive, but a negative. Well, I'm just going to go with my gut. I'll get the same thing. Okay. Yeah. I'll get the lamb please. 
OK, you ready? OK, Farouk. Oh, fucking holy Moses. Oh, dear. Fuck me. Lift it off the floor and don't put it on the floor. Hello, madam. Floor manager, operations manager, general manager. Anybody? Mohammed, can you explain to Gomez? Yes. Yeah? That we've got to stop putting things on the floor. Yes? It's unhygienic. Unhygienic and it could be dangerous too. It's very dangerous. Yes. Dear, dear, dear. It's 40 minutes into the service and unbelievably, no food has left the kitchen. My first table still hasn't gotten their entree. I just want to taking so long for all this food. One of the major reasons for the delay, kitchen chaos. This is the first yeah. table in this restaurant and they're just... But they already, they already done. No. I only give him that the salad. Who's in charge here? I'm taking over expediting here. You're expediting? Yes. Mohammed, what are you doing in here? I'm trying to help them up. You've got three managers, two chefs, eight girls out the front, and no one yeah. can fucking delegate. Oh, my God. OK, kids, one order of salmon left. One salmon special. Let everybody know. And when information is shouted from the kitchen, Martin is busy again, not with customers, but with his phone. Oh, my God. OK, that has to be ready before this goes up. Ultimately, Martin doesn't belong in a leadership position. The manager on the floor to do something about it. This place is running in chaos. It's totally dysfunctional, and there needs to be leadership here. So what are you cooking tonight? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Get me the general manager, Martin, please. All right. Not your Martin! Gordon Ramsay was really getting under my skin. OK, right. Uh, this young man's here, he's standing here, and he hasn't got anything to cook. Is this how you run a place? No, I don't, I don't run a place like this, all right? Why did it take me to let you know that he's standing there playing with radishes? Because, um... I You're busy. Uh, that's a horrible thing to say, but I was busy at the front there, yes. Oh, right. He was alluding to my relationship with the waitresses. Yeah, you get off on it. Girl stroking your hair, <laughs> massaging Sorry. your fucking ego. You're such a fake. I'm not fake, I'm just... Why, why are you saying I'm a fake? You've got members of your team standing here getting paid doing fuck all. I've never met a general manager so shit as you. Okay. If this was your money, would you let him stand here playing with no. his dick? That's what you're doing here, isn't it? You're riding Mohammed, you know. You're skinning that poor man. Yes, you fucking are. You're taking advantage of a weak, rich man. That's what's just fucking clicked in my mind. He got personal. He was accusing me of riding Mohammed, this type of thing. And that got me, because how the hell if you got the right to say something to me, they don't even know me. We've got more staff than customers tonight, and we still can't get it fucking right. General manager. General Tosspot. What is going on back there? This is seriously the worst service I've ever had in the city. An hour and a half into dinner service, and only a few dishes have made their way to customers, who are not exactly thrilled with Dylan's dining experience. This is raw, so. Thank you very much. And those who haven't received food are getting ready to leave. In two minutes, we're leaving. And you know, we ask like. Seriously, two minutes, we're leaving. What else I can do for you right now, so that will make you happy? Tell me that. You tell me. I'm sorry, ladies. Or I can discount your bill. We can go. This is It's day two, and Gordon has already been appalled by the food and dismayed by the inadequate management. Time to do the thing I've been dreading most, yeah? Getting into the kitchen. I am not looking forward to this part. When were these changed last? Uh, that one, he... Well, at least the no. flies look fresh. Oh, my god. I have no idea why is the flies. There was a lot of flies here. What is that? I don't know what it is. You don't know? Moldy. That is, quite frankly, the worst hamburger I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, my God. These were my fucking potatoes for lunch. Will you do me a favor? Yes. Eat that. Thank God I sat the little fucker down to eat them. That's not a potato. Green chicken. What goes on down here?
Chris Smith. For Please God's speak. sake! Look at that! Look! Cockroaches. Holy shit! Oh, my God. That is the worst hamburger I've ever seen in my entire life. Having discovered the terrible conditions in the kitchen, Gordon now ventures down to the basement of the restaurant to check out what's lurking below. What's that smell? What? What is that? Is that for rats or mice? Food for the catch a rat. So we have got rats here. Rat is all over the place. It's rat droppings. Look at them all, everywhere. Rats. Rats. Oh, my good God. Look at the cockroaches. Oh, my God, look. I've got one in my fucking hair. It's cockroaches. Box is full of them. Look. Look at them all. Oh, my God, look. There they are, there, in refrigeration. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Look at that! Oh, my God. Look at them. There you go. There you go. I was shocked. It's like a nightmare. Look, Mohammed. I mean, it's, it's, it's not even a pepper. It's rotten. And I'm worried about the flies in the dining room. I know where they're fucking breeding now. Look at it. <laughs> I've eaten here. Come on. Martin. Uh, we all miss you. Hopefully see you soon. Take care. Bye. OK. Yeah, I need Martin urgently. He's a general manager, yes? Yeah, good. You're, you're needed right now. I'm needed right now? Yes. Needed in the kitchen urgently. Are you in charge of this? Are you responsible for this? That is the salad I had lunchtime. I open the bag and bang, out comes the flies. Uh, gentlemen, it gets worse than that. It's green. It's beyond edible. It's disgusting. Look at the color of those chicken wings. Everything in there was putrid. How long has that been in there? Can Give I... me an answer, because yes. I'm shitting myself. Yes, uh, there's a head chef responsible for this, trying to this rectify it. This will kill somebody. We're not passing the buck, but... I know my general manager knows what the fuck's going on in my fridges. Where are your standards? Our standards Look were... at it. Let me just tell you something. Yes. I've eaten here. Where's that from? Either. That's been sliced. That's gone out. What is that? Where's it? Hey, madam, where's that tomato gone? Look, it's fucking rotten, you fucking idiot. It's rotten. Has a customer just been served a slice of tomato? No, 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 no. So where is it? Oh, my God. Things are looking pretty glum. Look, 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 look. look. It's rotten, Mohammed. Tell him in your language he'll kill somebody. What do we need, a death in the restaurant before some fucker gets a grip? How many tables are out there? There's three. Three. You tell those three tables this is the luckiest day of their fucking life, OK? The only thing worse than having tables sent away is knowing that what I was going to serve them could make them sick. No one is getting served from this fucking restaurant tonight. Let's make that clear. Yes or no? Anyone against that? No. No. Good. That didn't go down too well. He was extremely angry, extremely pissed off. We are not ever again serving any of this food. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Can you go and tell them that the kitchen is closed right now? Out there and tell them the truth. Tell them now. Gordon was so outraged, so angry. I've never seen anything like it. From green burgers to fucking furry cucumber to fucking rancid potatoes. Out there. Hello. Hi. I'm sorry to inform you that we are not going to be serving dinner this evening. Chef Ramsay's shut down the kitchen. It's just disgraceful. I feel terrible that it's gotten to this point. I'm fucking speechless. It is a nightmare. This is so horrible, I should close down this place. This is worse than a nightmare.
Gordon has encountered one of the most disgusting kitchens he has ever seen. Oh my God. And so he must take serious action. Let's go. Fuck us. I want these guys to know I mean fucking business. A clean means a proper clean. Right, you dirty little fuckers, where are you? just looking at him and thinking. OK, when I say clean, I mean clean, yeah? Guys, let's go. These guys are professional steam cleaners, yeah? Guys, kitchen straight through there. It wasn't just cleaners, it was cleaners plus. They're dressed like people from Star Wars, for God's sake. And you guys are doing it with them, yeah? Oh, God. Phase one of Gordon's mission, to seek out and destroy all moldy, rotten, and contaminated foods. We got work to do. The next phase of Operation Sterilize, steam clean every square inch of the kitchen. Now it's time to enlighten Mohammed and his managers with a little trip, a couple of blocks away to the kitchen of Gordon's New York restaurant. OK, I want to show you something. The difference between night and day. This is a kitchen. Have a look around. All kitchens should be like this. Gordon's Kitchen is absolutely spectacular. No matter what size restaurant you are, you can keep a clean shop and you can keep it organized. Open the fridge door, Martin. We went to the London. That was a walk of shame. Twice a day, these fridges are cleaned. This is heaven. That was hell. In order to reach out to the local Indian community and New Yorkers at large, Gordon has come up with his strategy for the menu, contemporary Indian cuisine. Does he know we're in Broadway? Where are we? New Jersey. No, no, no. New Jersey? No, 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 oh, no, no, fuck no, no, no. me. Well, yeah, he doesn't even know we're in fucking guess. New York. We are in New York restaurant. Right. With the salmon, we're going to make a bit of a broth. Right. With coconut and tomatoes and onions. Right. The secret behind the scallop is nice and pink. It's okay. sweet. A little bit of curry powder. Yes? Yes. And then from there, just sit it on top of the chutney. Pan seared scallops, a walnut right. chutney, wonderful crispy salmon with a tomato, coconut, curry broth. He just opened my eyes to what can be done. Clean, modern way to serve Indian food. Very good. Look at me. Oh, jeez, give a cuddle. Fucking hell. OK, very, very good. Tell him he's only a scallop, yeah? We haven't lost our children. OK, OK, you can let go now. You can let go now? You can let fucking go now. OK, good. To help execute Gordon's menu makeover, he has enlisted the help of one of the top Indian chefs in New York City, Vikas Khanna. Good to see you, buddy. Are you well? I need you here to work with the team of chefs and to get this place back on the map. Yeah? It's a beautiful location. We are in the heart of Manhattan. We can do it here. Later in the night, Gordon's design team is brought in to dramatically transform the restaurant's interior and exterior. It's a new day. The tacky electronic sign is being removed, and the restaurant is given an authentic Indian name, Purnima, which means full moon. Follow me, let's go. Here we go. There we are, all blindfolded. Much to our chagrin, I'll tell you. OK, on the count of three, take off your blindfolds. One, two, three. Welcome. Wow. Wow. Haven't they done an amazing job? Great job, amazing job. Mohammed, have a look from down here. It's like now you feel wow. you're here. What a difference. Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful. It has a nice, clean, crisp look. It looks now like it's been done by professionals the way it should. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Isn't it lovely? I'm happy to come into work now and not see the material. 
it's so much more than I thought it'd be. New chairs, new banquettes, new linen, new pictures, and it looks like something that is classy, yes? He just turned this restaurant from zero to 100. So we're gonna go outside and have a quick look outside. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. God. Stand back a little bit. There's no confusion. The color's beautiful. Yes. I'm not going to miss that sign. And I'm so glad to have it gone. It looks like a real restaurant again. The amazing job. After working through the night, Vikas is ready to present the new menu he designed with Gordon. The old menu has been replaced with classic Indian dishes that have a modern twist. Everything is done very simple according to American palate. I didn't know that Indian food like that existed. Kerala fisherman's curry, okay? That's a very basic curry. We move to the next dish. We have kadai shrimp here. After the trio, we have the chicken kurma. We're using saffron, real saffron, for this flavor. Mr. Vikas is so cute. He is a magician to me. And then Gordon's recipe of saffron cauliflower. The menu reflects these values of freshness in food, vibrant flavors, and it's very approachable for everyone. With the kitchen, menu, and decor all in good shape, it's time for Gordon to turn his attention back to the staff. Big, big, big night, yes? This place is about to be relaunched properly. Tonight, it has to work, OK? What's your role for tonight, general manager? I'm in front of house. Um, I'll be meeting, greeting. Will you do me a favor? When the customers sit down, will you not sort of be so false when you jump on? Just sometimes I feel it's so in your face, it's intimidating for them. OK. Yeah? yeah. yeah. Watching your performance, I was like, tacky. Will you promise to keep your phone off in the middle of service? That's Will you down. promise to be attentive to staff needs when necessary? Yeah. Will you attempt to act as a general manager for the first time ever stepping into this business? Yeah? I like like I always Will do, Will you not yes. take it as your cafe and hangout area? That is a great morale booster before the opening of this amazing new restaurant. Will you actually treat it as a business? If you could try to make some Yep. improvement this evening. Please. Yeah. Martin is not qualified for a GM. I don't see the confidence that he need. Martin's not full of shit. OK. You're giving him such a hard time, and yep. it's making me angry. I'm frustrated for the, the lack of respect this man has. That's with him, not with you. So would you mind keeping your nose out of my business? Don't try and interrupt me. Excuse me, this is a loyal worker, then. Oh, here we go. No, I'm sorry. Go. You don't need your minion to try and convince me how good you are on the back of what I've experienced. Is that clear? Martin, please. Gordon, help us to achieve that one. An amazing are, job. Yes. yes. Let's prove ourselves we do the job right. Absolutely, definitely. And then we see this. Gordon, we did it. Thank you, Mohammed. I've been waiting for that for the last week. I'm really pleased that it came out. So now I want to see positivity from everybody. Absolutely everybody. And if there's anyone who doesn't think they can pull on the rope like that, look for a new job. It's the morning of relaunch, and Gordon has organized a plan to spread the word in Manhattan. It's a Purnima parade. Look at that. Wow, what a brilliant idea, uh, promoting Purnima restaurant. Off we go, and we'll jump on, yes? It's amazing. The girls, music, and the promoting ideas, all of them. Yeah, I love it, I love you. I'm Thank glad you're you. happy now. People were asking where the restaurant is, and it was nice to be able to do something together. We needed that more than anything, because I think all of our spirits were so broken. Burning Burning Indian Burning restaurant! Burning it's so romantic! All of a sudden, you've all come alive, my God! <laughs> it's only two hours to go until the doors open, and the restaurant is booking up. The future of Purnima rests greatly on tonight's reopening. I understand that, absolutely. For Muhammad, tonight is a golden opportunity, but he needs his staff to rise to the occasion. Hello, good evening. I will say this table right here. I've got a table right here for you. It is very exciting to see this restaurant full again. 
The kitchen is under the strong leadership of Vikas. So he's going to bring the food. But Gordon will be keeping an eye on the general manager, Martin. Appetizers, everybody takes a hand. The success of Purnima depends on the teamwork. That's the crucial point of running Purnima. Uh, Martin. Yep. Give me the phone. Is it on? It's off. It's off. It's off. It's off. OK. Yes, sir. You ready for order? Some samosas, some scallops, and some chicken tikka. Yeah. One chicken tikka trio. This is the new star for Pranima. New decor, new menu, contemporary fresh, and how exciting. It's all fresh, all new, and wonderful. Everything's just going perfectly well, but... Shit. Martin's still here. Excellent. Nice atmosphere in the dining room. Nice atmosphere. It's the best of a Very good. Customers are responding well to the new menu, and the first wave of orders is now hitting the kitchen. Let's go. I need one lamb chop, medium rare, please. Piping hot, please. Take this, take this. We've got to turn some customers tonight. We've got to turn tables, yeah? It's good. It's really great. Cauliflower is great. But the chicken tikka was good. But as the orders start to pile in, Martin's lack of managerial skills start to show. So that they want the lamb, Who? Uh, the ladies, the, yeah. And the wait staff becomes confused. Yeah. Can you give it to that table? That Service, please. Can somebody take this, please? Which is causing disorder in the kitchen, and everything is starting to back up. Martin, Khan, the food's sitting here. No one's moving their ass, yes? It's I getting cold and cold and cold. Oh, my God. How'd that happen? I need another rice, please. Service, get me Martin, please, yeah? Quickly, yeah? Excellent. Everyone's standing in it. Dunning, can you get out the rice, please? Martin, could you sweep the rice, then, rather than everyone standing in it, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. It'd be nice to do something, yeah? So we don't have to send more food to the rats? That's great. Finally found a job. Oh, fuck it, now. Even on a night with a top chef at the helm, Martin's mismanagement of his waiters has caused problems in the kitchen, and the customers are paying the price. The bread was the best part. Oh, yeah, the bread was the best part. It's the only thing that was warm. It's unbelievable. It's cold. They forgot our order. I'm surprised none of the food came out warm. It's a nightmare. OK, we're now just starting to turn these first tables, but panic set in. Customers are complaining about food being cold. And these staff are not used to being busy, especially like this. Cold, yeah, let's go. It's cold, cos it's fucking lying around. Just take this, please. Service, please. I never served as many customers before. Who's running the restaurant? Martin! Good, yeah. Somebody ordered this 33. I'm not gonna say anything negative about the restaurant, but I don't understand this restaurant. Let's go. On oh, there you go. Rather than a big tray. Right, where are you going? What table? What was that for? Bacchus. Bacchus. Vikas. I don't think that, that Martin understands that what a general manager really should be doing. Don't make any phone calls along the way. Straight to the table. Why is that rice going cold now? Why is it not being served? No, it's, it's actually burning, yes. It went out it's actually burning. It's I want the customers to experience it hot, not your yes, hand. No, no, customers are complaining awesome. about the food cold, my man. You took the meal out just now. I believe Gordon's trying to get me angry, tired, annoyed or whatever, and I wasn't taking any part with that. Um, Gordon has seen enough of Martin's managerial incompetence and believes he may have found a solution. Be honest with me. Can you manage this place? Yes, I can. So stop blending in and yes. stand on your feet, OK? Yes, I can do that. I will try my best to convince Chef Ramsey that I can run this restaurant. Ready, folks? Ready, everything is ready, but I have one naan. One, one naan. One minute, one minute. I have right, to put... All right, just do that. All right, just... No, no, no. I have to put... That's it. That's OK. That's OK. Relax. With Khan taking the reins, food is finally making it out to the customers. Good man. Thank you. Excellent. Pour the water, use the tray, take it to the down there. Each and every time, and table 44 need their all. Check. Perfect. All the best, brother. Yeah. This is really good. Definitely try that. This is great. That's like a surprise. Yeah. yeah. With Khan in the dining room and Vikas in the kitchen, 
the restaurant is beginning to run smoothly. It was a very, very good experience for me and my whole team, and then make me feel good. One, two, three. Tonight, I made over $100. I was so happy. Make sure you guys come back again, okay? Yeah. Okay. Take care. <laughs> The grand opening of Purnima was bumpy in the middle, but finished on a high note. Uh, Ma'am, can I have a quick word with you, please? However, Gordon knows his work is not done. This place can be phenomenal. The location is extraordinary. This is a new start. Exactly. You have to treat it as a new beginning. Of course. I mean, in a perfect world, I would sacrifice one of your managers to employ Vikas. You cannot carry driftwood in your no. business out of the three managers one has to go between you and i martin has an amazing way of manipulating you and he's not worth his weight in terms of what he brings to the table hearing gordon ramsay say that to mohammed that makes me upset and angry the frustration just boiled over Can I make this year? Tonight, yeah. tonight mohammed yeah i've never used you i've, I've respected you yeah. i'm proud of what we've done i've never cheated you Excuse and me. i take what, what, what's, what's going on you ask him for, 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 for management can you can you recommend him you are enough i've had enough okay. because okay. you okay. have been insulting okay. you've been accused me of achieving this bad did you hear what i just said to him Martin. so Listen, let, let, let him go. Go on, get it out. No, I'm get off the chest. But you, the have, first time since I met you, show me that you're a man. You've accused me of riding on this why man's you, shoulders. Why are you pointing like that? Because, not I, because like I'm him. angry, OK? You want to see passion? Good. I'm giving you passion. This person I've respected. Yeah. And you've had the audacity to accuse me of, like, taking his money... Riding off his back. Riding off his back yeah. is, 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 is what you've said. Well, that is disgusting. You have no right. You don't know that. What about no. you? What about, what about you? I have nothing to be guilty of. You what? Nothing. You sat in it. It's rotten! Yeah. You ran it. You sat in it. Yes. You wasted it. Yes, I wasted yeah, it. Yes. You encouraged it. You it wasn't always go. like this. We, it it, it spiraled, this it spiraled yeah. out of control. Yeah. And I You're asked you to guilty. come on board. I'm glad. Not guilty, Mohammed. I'm not guilty. No. I have nothing to be guilty of. You what? Nothing. You sat in it. Yeah. You ran it. You sat in it. Yes. You wasted it. Yes, I wasted it. Yeah, yes. You encouraged it. You this wasn't this always go. like this. We, it it, it spiraled. It spiraled out of control. Yeah. And I asked Been you guilty. to come on board. I'm glad. Not guilty, Mohammed. I. Not guilty. I'm not going to take this put down anymore. You have nothing to be guilty of. Listen, this is my last night. And you said it was your last night. I'm confused. Yes, yes this so is my last now. night. Why this is my me? last tonight. OK, please tell the owner, not me. This is my last night. I'm out of here. I quit. Jesus Christ. When Martin left, actually, I'm just shocked. I didn't expect it's going to go that bad. I think Gordon Ramsay is full of his and I'm extremely angry, extremely pissed off, and I now turn my back and walk away. With the success of the relaunch and the change of management, Purnima has beaten the odds and is now looking to a bright future. In the following days, Purnima's contemporary Indian food and atmosphere continued to generate great buzz throughout New York City. The restaurant's revenue increased, and naturally, so did the server's tips. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Chef Vikas accepted an offer from Mohammed to be the restaurant's ongoing consultant. I will help I... you at any limit, at any extent. Thank Thanks a lot. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's be honest. It's gone exceptionally well. Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. Great food, great decor, great buzz, happy customers. I really mean it. Thank you. Bloody good job. Yes. Yeah. I'm very happy with the changes Gordon has made here. He has given this place an opportunity to thrive and be a real restaurant. For all of us over here, I thank you very, very much. Listen, you're very welcome. You've got all the tools, now do it. Don't stop working hard. Gordon did what I thought was completely impossible with the restaurant. Khan? My experience with Chef Gordon was wonderful. I get the confidence that we can run this business, that we can run this restaurant successfully. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, but yeah. <laughs> okay.
Good to see you. Thank you. Neighbours. Yes. Next time, I'm coming to eat. I'm not coming to work. Yes. Okay? Yes. Good to see you. I'd like to thank Chef Ramsey for being a part of this great success. Before, I thought he's crazy, but he said, no, he's a very passionate man. I like that very much. Excellent. Good night, guys. Thank you, Richard Lee. You stand strong. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, what a transformation. I honestly didn't think we could turn this around to this extent from what I saw my first day here. My God.